so uh today we're checking out elden ring um this was sent to me i wasn't particularly interested in it be just because it's from from software funny enough which are the people who make dark souls demon souls blood bloodborne uh sekiro like games like that which funny enough i've never really like enjoyed those games too much but like it's real gimmicky because a lot of people like to be like oh these games are challenging these games are hard and it's just like a lot of the stuff in those games just be broken and it's like uh you realize like a person just clipped through the wall right like the game's not hard like it's just busted but i mean you know if you enjoy those games you enjoy those games i've never been one to like really like fuck with those games although i have really liked the games that attempted to be like those games like the star wars one that came out uh not too long ago uh and he plays <laughs> funny enough he plays ian from shameless <laughs> uh i really enjoyed that one that was a great game uh it was more attempting to be like a bloodborne dark souls type of from software game uh so those were pretty fire um games that attempt to be like this type of game uh, are actually really really sick so funny enough i don't enjoy the originals but like the ones that attempt to be like those games those are dope um so we're gonna check out a little bit of the gameplay today um but before we jump in look 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 i need you guys to go and like the video for me okay if you're new to the channel subscribe especially if you like this video if you like this video you're gonna love a lot of my other content and stuff like that guys we have a new schedule okay we have a new schedule uploads on monday wednesday friday live streams on tuesday and thursday okay so and of course we don't do nothing on the weekends because you know i just be chilling i'm hoping we get like that core element of this game is difficult with a lot of the oh here's some story that i actually give a damn about and it just you know what i mean like as long as the two things come together that'd be great i would really really enjoy thank you for taking the time to join so us we're gonna skip the intro here like i don't i actually don't hold up hold up time out time out time out time out time out time out why is this this shit is in 480p bro what what is going on come on now i'm trying to see some let me see some set here in the lands between okay i mean the game looks nice looks this pretty. is a site of grace acting as a place of rest for the player. Okay, so this is the bonfire. Oh, okay. Oh! Spirit horse! Okay. Of course, and he got hops, free to too? choose whether okay. to follow this guy. I could vibe. I could vibe with to this. Explore. So, it looks like what the hell is that? Jeez. They just have spikes through them. What the hell? So, this looks like it's going to be open world, so that's going to be a little new. I mean, Sekiro was open world, so it's not really hard to see like a lot of that stuff happening. What the fuck? Yo, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did this dragon just come out of nowhere? Where did this even come from? You... He just pops in just randomly, just literally out of the sky, out of nowhere. And he's just like, hey, yo, what's happening, cuz? What's good? Let me see if you about that action. Okay, so my question is, here's the thing. I'm wondering if the game just has these like random like situations that happen so a lot so if any of you guys are familiar with skyrim a lot of the time you'll just be like randomly like traversing through the area and stuff like that and you'll randomly get attacked attacked by like one of the dragons or something like that i couldn't really tell if it was like certain locations on the map where it's like here's the like there's a more likelihood of like a legendary creature being in that area you know what i mean like there's sections on the map where it's like oh over here is like ogre territory over here you might see a dragon over here you might see werewolves or something like that so i wonder if the map is built out like that so that'll be interesting because if it's just random like imagine you're trying to like save or something like that and then a dragon just randomly lands so that'll be that'll be a little frustrating so how are you supposed to kill this dragon because he looks like he's unfazed by everything oh no Oh no, bro, you're getting your cheeks clapped. Not in the demo. Oh! Come on! So, how do you fight something like this? Because obviously, you have to reach him. Oh. Okay, that answered my question. So. Not the eyeball! He said, hold up, I can't see what you're saying. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? 
This reminds me of uh, a lot of what happens in Near Automata. So in Near Automata, uh, you'll just be like randomly like, you know, going through the map and stuff like that, and you'll hear like people talking or something like that, or you'll hear like, uh, you know, like different characters just kind of like sitting on the side and just trying to get your attention and stuff like that. And that's what this reminds me of. It's kind of oh, interesting when it happens stars. too. This is random. So to see you. I'm just using a tree bark to. I'm not gonna lie, why would you put this in the gameplay preview? Like, why would you, this looks dumb as shit. Like, I get you're trying to show off a concept, but like, this looks dumb as hell. Why would you show this? This doesn't look exciting at all. Just casually gonna have a conversation with a pot, no big well deal. Played. Oh, wow. We got the Prince of Persia, okay. <laughs> uh... I see another game. I'm gonna spend thousands of hours just walking around, just picking stuff up. Look at the size the of map this. materials or dangerous. See, so stuff like here. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. I think he's about to explain it. Optimize the map, such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. Okay, so this looks like an enemy outpost, and you get like binoculars. Okay, cool. It's giving. It's really giving me Shadow of Mordor type of vibes. You know what I mean? Carrying treasure. How's that work? Okay. All right. Well. And you can finish it. Okay. Yep. And this looks like a Souls Born game. Yep. Yep. Assassino! <laughs> oh, smooth dodge. Oh my. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Woo! Okay. He said, okay, let me rob this carriage real quick. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from- Multiplayer? Huh? From okay. Worlds, from cooperative to PVP and invasions. So, what I wanna know, and this is, this is always an issue in games with co-op, is Watch Dogs 2 did it, uh, which is, which is very interesting. Um, and there's like a bunch of other games, I can't think of them at the moment, where they have like these co-op sections where it's like only mission, only certain missions and only missions in general are co-op instead of just like the whole game. Like all the Far Cry games have co-op, right? But it's literally just like drop in co-op where like if you were to just pick up another controller, press start, and then another player plays the entire co-op experience with you. Whole game co-op with the homies as if nothing changed. Like the game doesn't change at all. Almost like Borderlands, literally just another player is there playing with you. It's the same game experience, the same everything. It's not mission-based. It's just the whole game. Roaming around, all that shit. Yes, absolutely. Because I can't, Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but in in the Souls Borns games and stuff like that, there is like co-op, but only for missions. Is that correct? Or like only for like boss battles and stuff like that where people can cooperate with you and they can fight like dragons and demons and all this other shit with you. Like I have no idea. So Okay. It looks Deadly like the question that I had so was we'll answered, to I think. Detection. I hope you just get like ultra mega powerful by the end of the game you know what i mean and like you could just clap anything on the map that'd be real cool oh we hello a boss guarding this area we'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner okay see these enemies just look like cur they just look crazy like i would never fight something like this i'd be like oh hell no dog like what the hell? Is that the dragon? What the? This broad just whips the dragon's head out. Yo! That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how many... I wonder what the max number of co-op players is. I hope it's not just one. I, I want like at least a party of like three three other people. Like that'd be cool. Damn, them ankles. These dungeons each hold their own secrets. I also wonder how is the leveling gonna work for multiplayer? 
Like, say my homie is playing his single player game, right? And he gets to like level 40 something and he's got like a dope dark sword and like all this other cool stuff, right? And then me, I'm just, you know, your boy is just a measly level 15. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing like a dungeon like this. And he comes through. Does he just sweep everything? Like, how does that work? Like, I just really want to know. Or is there like a level cap? What the hell? And there's just enemies walking around? Okay. Okay, so... We got a little bit of co-op here. Right? Yeah. I can't wait to customize my character. These fits look dope. Ah, okay. Here we go. The typical bonfire scene. We like it. I Beyond the fog. Melina. Please don't be ugly. Oh my god. Damn, what happened to your eye? I offer you I? a cord. <laughs> it looked like you ain't got no eye to offer me. Okay. So another thing I'm wondering, another thing I'm wondering, right, is how is the story going to play out? Because normally with like a Bloodborne Dark Souls game, uh, there's like a lot of text you got to read, right? There's like few cutscenes here and there, but like it's a lot of like hidden lore and picking up books and like reading subtext and trying to remember this character's name and that character's name and stuff like it, it just mad complicated right just complicated as hell so i don't want that for this game you know what i mean like i need i need very straightforward like hey this is the bad guy we're gonna go get the bad guy and uh fuck the bad guy up and save the princess you know what i mean like you know what i mean it's just i only say that i only say that not to complain about it okay because obviously some people like that stuff i only say that to make it more accessible to new players okay because the more new players you have for a game like this the game's gonna sell well so that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying so i know somebody gonna get upset about me like oh maybe if you just pay attention you'll understand like no relax that's not what i'm saying all right obviously we go through the door there's a bonfire on the other side you there. oh come over here would you damn why are you whispering to me like that the main <sighs> the so that answered my question. We're not gonna get cutscenes. We're just gonna get these same moments of standing here trying to listen to these people. The guards don't know about it. Hmm. You breach the castle undetected. I just be skipping stuff like this. This 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 type of interaction, I just be like, okay, click 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 click. I gotta kill who? And then when I try to get to the objective later. And I wasn't paying attention, I'll get upset. I'll be like, I'll be like, damn, I didn't know somebody told me what I was supposed to take this torch over to this room and light this thing on fire and then go fight this boss. I just went straight to the boss and then now I don't know what to do. So this is this is what I mean by make this this stuff right here needs to be a cutscene. You know what I mean? Where it like gets this person's face in frame. Yes, traveler. Blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like make me pay like give me a, a make it cinematic you know what i mean like a reason to pay attention this this whole chit chat shit i don't fuck with that i don't no thank you like i said it's just it just looks like more dark souls bloodborne type i'm sure the speed runs are going to be kind of crazy for this game where it's just like somebody like runs along the side of the castle and starts rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling gets all the way to the final boss and just claps him with you know, one attack and stuff like that. Like these, these speed runs are gonna be kind of cool. But other than that, I mean, I'm just seeing more, more Dark Souls. Hold on, is this the same gameplay? It is. Okay, I thought there was another one. So, all right, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't need to watch anymore. Uh, I really thought I was gonna get something different. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. The bosses are usually really, really dope in in these games. So I'm about. In this I'm trying to see what this fight, is like. We challenge one of the demigods. Ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Yeah, you know you're a gangster when your name is when your name is Gal Godric. You different. You just build different. Hello? Is that a dragon? Lights. That man got too many fingers. Well. <laughs> oh, Godric not messing around, man. Hello? Oh yeah, this game is not gonna let you. Oh my god! This guy looks frustrating to fight! Oh hello? 
Why you didn't bring none of the, one of the homies with you? Excalibur! The dodges. I mean, he was dodging real good. It did his arm turn into a dragon? Oh my god, this looks frustrating. Another game where you can't tell if you're safe if you dodge or not. Yep, see? Alright. I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough. Clearly, you guys know how I feel about it. I mean, I still don't know if I'm going to buy it. This seems like it would be a day one cop. Like, I was very excited for it, but... I don't know, man. Watching gameplay has kind of, like, turned me off of it. And you guys know. If you guys have seen my channel before or anything I've ever covered, you know I like to see gameplay. That's what I like to see. I like to see, show me what the game gonna be like. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is a $40 buy, bro. This this seemed like $30, $40. This game is gonna take 100 plus hours to, to play. Uh, not including another 100 hours to learn how to play the game. This is just not gonna be a good time for me. Um... Not only that, I, I'm a, I don't know about y'all, but I'm an adult. I'm an old man, okay? I don't got time to just be putting hundreds of hours into video games. Probably never going to finish this game. I'm, I'm really not. So far, it's looking like it's a no for me. Um, definitely getting this when it's on sale. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. I'm sure a few of you have already typed quite a few comments. Um, but yeah, man, I'm interested to see uh, what this is like. So... But make sure to go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Um, I've been, I'm your man, Just Jay Sama, and I'll see you guys on the next one.